Welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2023. In this newest release, you'll find that SOLIDWORKS MBD has also been updated with several enhancements. Annotations, like these assembly dimensions, are now viewable in the 3D views and viewports with no data loss. This also applies to the 3D PDF showing component dimensions, feature dimensions, and DIM expert annotations. It is very common to use the auto dimensioning scheme to get your MBD project started. In order to see one of the 2023 SOLIDWORKS MBD enhancements, let's simulate a quick design change in this part. Now, looking at this tolerance status again, I'm not surprised to see my new geometry is not green like most of the model. In SOLIDWORKS MBD 2023, we can edit the features of items like our previously created datums. This makes it easy to add the top face of this new extrusion to the existing group of faces that represent our primary datum. Let's look at the cutout at the top edge of this part. Here we have these two opposite, non-parallel faces. In SOLIDWORKS MBD 2023, wedge features are supported. We can use the wedge geometry to define a geometric tolerance or even create a wedge datum. It is well known that SOLIDWORKS has a massive library of symbols. In SOLIDWORKS MBD 2023, you can now apply more up-to-date ISO standard-based symbols to dimensions and tolerances in DimExpert. You can easily add these symbols straight from the symbol library or from the tolerance modifier section in the DimExpert property manager. Here is another excellent enhancement to SOLIDWORKS MBD. This machined part has some overhanging geometry. It is easy to define a locating dimension to call out this vertical location of this hole. Once placed, the annotation can be difficult to interpret. The extension line just terminates here out in space. Now, in the 2023 version of MBD, we have an option that controls the display of the dimension in this situation. In the DIM expert section of our document properties, we have some display options. Enabling this new option for connect dimension extension lines to model can make this much easier to understand. I hope this part of the What's New series gives you a better understanding of the new features and functions of SOLIDWORKS 2023.